This year, there is a loaded ballot of potential new fees which aim to change campus life for various communities. I will be speaking with the primary proponents of the referenda in order to further understand the purpose behind these fees. I'm Perla Shaheen, and this is Cal TV News. Why do you think that students should take money out of their pocket to support this fee referendum? Well, primarily to solve an institutional gap. Uh, there's a problem here on our campus where students who are, who are dependent on financial aid aren't able to get the resources they need, and that just creates additional hindrances when it comes to finding housing. Uh, what the housing referendum does is it provides a very real, manageable, and efficient resource uh, for students who are housing insecure. I know that it's a long process to even get a fee referendum on the ballot. Could you tell me why you decided to do this? Um, this referendum was really necessary for ASUC and also for students in general on campus. Um, the main reason why this referendum was proposed be was because of the financial restraint that ASUC is experiencing due to the inflation that has been going on for the past decade. And the whole purpose of ASUC is to fund student groups and this referendum would definitely alleviate the financial restraint that we have and increase our ability to fund those student groups for the coming years. I decided to go through that because of how important the referendum is and the, the communities it will exist to serve, which is EJCE, a cluster of the MSC offices, the MCC and the Gender Equity Resource Center, and the community, which is why it's named the Big C, the Big C Referendum, Big Community Referendum, the communities that these centers create um, among students who feel underrepresented and don't find community in other spaces on campus. And so as one of those students, it was incredibly important to me that these centers receive funding and are able to stay at capacity. So I went through with putting on the ballot. So why are you so passionate about these um, three underrepresented groups on campus? So I'm really passionate about these centers and the services they provide because I personally benefited from the African American Student Development Center's Blackso, which really introduced me to um, resources on campus as a transfer center, transfer student coming in um, who is also underrepresented. Will this be creating dorms just for freshmen or will it be creating housing for more students? So this will primarily be providing resources to the entire campus. Um, graduate students, undergraduate students, but specifically because there's going to be more supply than, uh, more demand than supply, uh, we're going to be prioritizing students who are traditionally uh, underrepresented or marginalized, so undocumented students, student parents, formerly incarcerated students, those will generally be at the tip of this, but in the larger scheme of things, it's going to impact everyone because we're going to have more hands on deck in the financial aid office. And voting is from April 10th to the 12th, so make sure to get your ballot in and have your voice heard.